comments. Here we are. All right. Let me unplug this. Let me stop this. I like this comment, by the way. This was on strike one. Golly. That's the thing. It's it's like automatic viewfinder. I don't like that. Take that off. Anyway, yes, I got um, a community guideline strike. I've had whole channels shut down, not just because the FBI investigated it, because I did have a terrorist calling me on the messenger. But anyway, I mean, let's see what it even says right here. That's that's horrible. And discuss them. That is horrible. We're going to talk about what distinguishes or discerns a redneck from a hillbilly. Okay. Yeah, well, we got into that conversation. But first, comments. Bradford Backwoods says... I'm in between a redneck and hillbilly. I like to say I'm a country boy hick. And then it says CBCS and of course RHEC. I know what RHEC stands for, but I'm not familiar with the Charlie Bravo, Charlie Sierra. CBCS. I'll have to look into that. But thank you for the comment. You are entered in to the random number generating draw for the Ryan Up Church autograph sign, Iraq pictures. And I'm also giving away some other stuff, people. I'm giving away a lot of stuff, actually. And you know, if you don't want to subscribe, you don't have to subscribe to my channel, but go to Camunition because he is the future. I mean, I could die tomorrow, people. He is the future. Go subscribe to him. Show him some love. Say Redneck007, Goldman007, Specialist Web, James Webb 7 Army of One 7 any of those. Or just say this crazy, uh, this crazy country guy sent me. Or, hey, this guy who's a fanatic for Redneck Nation sent me. I don't know. Just say, you don't have to say that. Just go subscribe to him, please. Will you do that for this, 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 this bleeding heart? Like I am crying out. I'm really not crying out. I'm shouting out. I'm not even shouting out. I would just like to see this feller. Can't wait to meet him. I've already talked to him, FaceTimed him. He makes me laugh. God, he makes me... He, along with Megan Hammonds, no ammunition, when, when I say he, and you wonder why I get like 90s and 80s on my paper. I use passive voice. <laughs> I use fragmented sentences. And, um, but my hooks are off the chain. Uh, my theses are on point. Most of the paragraphs tie into the main thesis. And my MLA style? Well, people, that's the easy part. And I cite all my works and all that good stuff. But go get you some Redneck Nation gear if you haven't gotten any already. Because you never know when the apocalypse is going to happen. And you might not, not get that order in. But I tell you what, I got a little bleach on this one so I have to get another one. Um, this is why I don't wash my clothes. 
I mean, I wash them, but it, it's not a good thing. So, go check out Cami Nation. Go to Redneck Nation. They are, they, like, their R&D is, is out of this world. Like, next thing you know, they're going to be laser engraving, um, tattoos? <laughs> nah, they ain't going to do that. Next thing you know, sky's the limit. So, but they don't need me to shout them out at all. But I will tell you what I really love, and I'm glad that I got some. That one. Some of the Redneck Nation hot sauce. This right here is the Maruga Trinidad Scorpion. That shit's hot. It's really hot. The hottest one is the Carolina Reaper. And I'm getting ready to make a video. I'm basically just going to... Uh, I'm going to hurt myself, more than likely. But, uh, hey, like Jesse Ryan says, I've done it for the views, right? <laughs> I do it because I want to. Uh, you know, hey, you know what? This video's too long. <laughs>